in this video i will discuss about binary comparator that is definition of the comparator and how to implement one bit binary comparator let's see the definition of binary comparator comparator is a combinational circuit which compares the magnitude of two binary numbers that is let me consider a comparator assume that this is a block of comparator we we'll let a and b are the two numbers a and b are the two numbers we will assume that a is having n bits and b is having n bits now i can say this as n bit comparator it is n bit comparator so there may be one bit comparator two bit comparator three bit comparator likewise n bit comparator it means that a is having n number of n binary bits and b is having n binary bits so when we compare these two it may produce three output one of the output may be a is greater than b a may be greater than b in some cases a may be equal to b and there is another output where a may be less than b thus in comparator we have two inputs and we have three outputs so these are outputs here a and b are the inputs so now if a is greater than b then the comparator will make this output high similarly if a is equal to b then comparator will make this output high and if a is less than b then comparator will make this line high so this is how the comparator will work now let's see how to implement a one bit comparator so let's consider the one bit comparator so in one bit comparator we will assume a and b are the numbers here a and b are the numbers a is having one bit similarly b is having one bit this is the assumption that is nothing but one bit comparator so when a is one bit it may be zero or it may be one similarly b may be zero or b may be one if you consider a and b the possible inputs are 0 0 a may be 0 b may be 1 a may be 1 b may be 0 or a is 1 b is 1 these are the possible inputs with two bits now we will see so here a greater than b here when we compare this a and b both values are same a is equal to b so in this case 0 equal to 0 so in this case the comparator will make a equal to b line high and rest two lines as zero so now here a is zero and b is one so we can see that a is less than b so in that case the comparator will make this column high that is a less than b this output is high these two outputs are low similarly here one a is one b is zero that is a is greater than b so here a is greater than b rest two columns are zero so when one one means a is equal to b this is one this is zero and this is zero so this is the truth table of one bit comparator now with the help of truth table we can easily implement circuit diagram so we'll try to find the boolean expression for each output column that is now for a greater than b so in a greater than b the output is high for when a is 1 and b is 0 so the boolean expression for this is we can say a b bar it is a b bar similarly for a equal to b that is for a equal to b the output is high for a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 so we can write it as a bar b bar that is a bar b bar here also it is high it is for 1 1 a b that is plus a b so a bar b bar plus a b is nothing but a x nor b similarly for a less than b that is for a less than b so here output is high for a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 therefore the expression is a bar b 0 if if there is a 0 we have to take complement of variable if it is 1 we have to take direct variable like this so these are the output equations that is boolean equations 
of one bit comparator. Now with the help of this we can easily draw the circuit. So here these output equations can also be obtained by K map. So here we have two variables we can we should use two variable K map. I will show that also. So let me use two variable K map that is for first I will considering for A greater than B let me take two variable K map. So in two variable K map we have four cells like this. So this is A, this is B, this is 0, 1, 0, 1. So this cell number is 0, this cell number is 1, this cell number is 2, this cell number is 3. So here we can see that here we have in A greater than B, here it is 1 which is corresponds to 1, 0. 1, 0 means 2. Let me write the decimal numbers 0, 1, 2, 3. So in cell number 2 we have to write 1. So in cell number 2 we have to write 1, here it is 0, here it is 0, here it is 0. Now let me simplify this. So we have only 1 here. So here it can be represented as 1 and it is 0. That is A, B bar. That is A, B bar. So same thing we have obtained here for A greater than B. The result is A, B bar. Similarly, now let me take the KMF for A equal to B. So here for A equal to B, let me draw the same 2 bit K map. So it is A, B, 0, 1, it is 2, 3, we have 0, 1, 0, 1. <coughs> so here the output is high for 0 and 3. So in cell number 0 and 3, we are supposed to write 1. Here it is 1, here it is 1, this is 0, this is 0. So we cannot do the pair. So we have to take it as individual. This is 1 and this is 1. So with respect to this, the value is A bar, B bar. A bar, B bar. With respect to this, the value is A, B. A, B. So this is nothing but A, X, nor B. So here also we got for A equal to B, we got it as A, X, nor B. Similarly, now let me check for A less than B, that is for A less than B, let me take the two variable K map again, this is A, B, we have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So here output is high for 1, that is in cell number 1, we have to write 1, 0, 0, 0. So here it is 1. The corresponding output value is A bar B. That is A bar B. So here also we have got it as A bar B. So now with the help of these Boolean equations we can easily draw the circuit. Let me draw the circuit. So it is A B bar. Let me take one AND gate. This is AND gate. So let me take this as A input. Let me take this as A input. Let me take this is B line. So output of this is B bar. This is supposed to be connected here. So output of this is A B bar. So here it is A greater than B. It is for A greater than B. Now here we have A X nor B. So we have to use one X nor gate. Let me use A X nor gate. Bubble we supposed to connect. So one input I will take from here. So this is A and here we have B. Therefore output of this is this is nothing but A x nor b which is for a equal to b so now we have another one is a bar b so let me take one and get so a bar b so this is a here we have a so this is a bar and here we have b this is b so output is a bar B which is nothing but 
a less than b so this is the complete circuit diagram for one bit comparator in my next video i will explain two bit comparator thank you for watching